How are we doing today? Cindy here with Monarch Mom DIY. Excited to be here. Why is my phone not going? There we go. Oh my goodness. How is everyone doing today? Say hello in the chat. Get the live chat going. Hello, Lori. And see if we can get everybody here on my phone. There we go. All right, I see we have a few people on. If you subscribe to my Telegram, you got a message from me 30 minutes ago that I was going to be going live. Now, some of you are subscribed to my Telegram, but you do not have your notifications turned on. So, you won't get a notification from Telegram. You have to go to Telegram to see that I sent you a notification, which kind of defeats the purpose. So um, I'm gonna encourage you to go back to Telegram and you can turn on the notifications for my um, broadcast channel. So say hello as you're hopping on. Hey, Rita, welcome everyone. Yeah, I see it usually takes YouTube a couple minutes to get those notifications out or they just don't they send them as I go live not before hello Sherry and Stephanie okay so probably I'm not gonna be on super long tonight um we're finishing up our taxes which ugh, yuck um and so I want to be able to go help with that hello as you're hopping on please give this video a thumbs up if you like my live crafting so what I would what I thought I would do today because I have been cars are so loud I've been working today on filming my YouTube video which will go live tomorrow night um, but I'm also planning for our craft show which is coming up in just a few weeks um, so what I thought I would do, mom and I are going to do our, the Magnolia booth together and we're going to do a couple make, we're going to have a couple of make and take options using some Magnolia products. The first one, I probably am not going to do anything with this tonight, but have you guys seen these in your Dollar Trees? These are in the new Shore to Shore, the coastal stuff. It's got a bamboo lid round. It's about... Maybe that's a little under three inches. Let me see. It's actually about three inches in diameter. It's the bamboo and then it's got like a little plastic thing to kind of catch a little bit. This is glass. So this was $1.25. So one of the make and takes, we're gonna let them stencil a mini stencil on the front. Um, of course, they'll take the jar, but they can do whatever stencil of the minis they want. Like if they wanna make it as a teacher gift, they can do a school one whatever and then um probably we'll have some ribbon that they can tie around and make a bow um and then they can take it home and fill it with whatever goodies they want so this is going to be one of the make and take options probably five dollars because really i mean a little bit of ribbon and then the jar itself they're going to fill it with their own goodies inside the other one that we're going to do we're going to use now this is only half my sheet the Bontem Birds, so one, two, three, and then these are the other three that are on the sheet, so four, five, six. They're going to get uh, one of the rectangular bird rub-ons. They're gonna get one of our white tags, okay? And then, um, so that's what we're gonna do. And then I also bought from Amazon some 20 millimeter beads. And they're going to get probably about 15 or so. Oh, thank you guys. Was there someone new? Hello, hello. Thanks for being here. And some jute twine to make a beaded garland for the tag. And then I'm going to show them how to make a, um, what's it called? Tassel. I'm going to, we have a tassel maker, but I'm going to show them how they can make it just wrapping it around their hands. So I thought what I would do tonight is make a couple samples. Um, I am going to make one of the Bontem birds and then I thought I would make one with probably maybe this owl. Just because I had these um, forest, what is it called? 
Forest Friends transfers from the other day. And um, so I thought I would make two as examples. Now, these beads came with jute twine, but I also found this one in the Shore to Shore. It's got white in it. I thought it was cool. They also had some with blue. Um, so that's kind of the plan for tonight. So let's get our rub-on transfers. I think I'm going to use... Ooh, I think I'm gonna do this one. So I'm just going to cut around it. Now, the these transfers are a little bit, I mean, they're pretty much the size of the tag. Just these corners will sand off, which will be nice. Um, and I'm not quite sure, I have to price out the beads to figure out what the cost for this make and take will be, but It'll probably be closer to seven or eight dollars. Okay, so they'll get their tag, they'll choose their rub on transfer. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down on the table so the sticky side is up. And I think that's going to make it easier to line up my tag. So I'm going to pretty much line it up at the bottom there. And you can see where I've got my tag, okay? Now, you can, if you want, I think I'm gonna do this, actually. I'm gonna have them trim the little corners off. Not right up to the tag, but close. So that when we actually go to burnish it, where'd my little guy go? Here it is, okay? They're even gonna get one of these little burnishing tools because some people might wanna purchase the kit and um, maybe don't have time to do it there or they wanna buy a couple so they can take them and do them you know, at home with a friend or whatever. So they're gonna get a little burnishing tool and we will have the beads counted out. It's another reason I wanted to make a sample because I wanna figure out how many beads I should give, give them. Joey was thinking 10 to 15 with these bigger ones. This whole huge bag was, I think, $16 for, I think there's 500. How many are in here? 500 beads. Okay, so I'm burnishing. Um... Okay, why the weird, there was no meeting. The meeting is next Monday. I don't know why Facebook said it was today. All right, so I'm gonna see where, We can start peeling, okay, and voila, isn't that beautiful? Now, I'm gonna also have my little sander there so that they can get any extra off, just like this, like I always do. Get it nice. And right up to the edge. I'm really hoping we don't have any commenters like Saturday night. Oh my goodness, if you were on, that was insane. Okay. Isn't that so beautiful? Yeah, so there was there was no meeting tonight. It's next Monday. It's usually the second Monday of the month. I had just created the event today, and so for some reason, um, Facebook events had it for today. All right, so I'm going to, I'm just kind of poking 
where the hole is and I can't really sand it there so I'm just gonna kind of poke around it and then if I can get any of the extra out I mean we're gonna have string going through there anyway so it doesn't really matter so what do you guys think Oh, I know, Stephanie, it was crazy. Oh, Stephanie, did you just change and log in on a different account? Because now I see you under your name. Okay. Isn't it pretty? All right, so let's go ahead and do the other transfer since... Oh, actually, I think I want to do this mushroom one. It's cutie cutie. <clears throat> There's going to be quite a bit that's going to hang off. So this one, I'm going to line it up at the top. But I'm still going to put it face up or sticky side up. Okay, so this one I'm going to line up at the top and lay it flat. And then I can just trim around where the extra is yeah and Friday uh, Saturday Saturday is when I was on and it was crazy all right so Friday was bad too uh I don't know what it is about the weekend All right, so I'm just trimming a little bit closer to the tag. So this is good for me to practice because now I know I need to have my sander. I need to make sure I have scissors. Okay. So what do you guys think for the cost of making this? So my cost on the transfer, like the little, one of the little rectangles, um, is about a dollar fifty. Okay, and then the tag is, um. About 75 cents. I'm trying to think. So the tag and the oh, so cute. Look at that. So that's what 225. And then the burnishing tool. I have to look that up. I got a pack of 20, maybe 50 cents. Then the jute and the beads. Oops. I don't know. Do you think eight dollars is too much? I think five and eight are good price points. I didn't see the comment. It is good. Who is she speaking of? Uh, Teresa, what do you mean? You can ask no questions. You can ask questions. Yeah, Teresa, you can ask questions. If I don't see the question, oh my goodness, look at how gorgeous that is. So the back of the tag is just going to be the plain white. Okay, let's try to go around the inside of the circle. Go. 
All right, and then I'm just gonna kind of peel off any extra. Okay, so here are our two tags that we did. And now we need to get the jute and the beads. So let me get a little something to put some beads in. I don't want to make a huge hole in this bag because I'm not ready to divvy these out yet into individual bags. But when I do, I'm going to have to do this to some of them. All right, let's see what 15 looks like on a string and see if that's going to be enough for Oh, are you you're asking Teresa about who's going to do the make and take? Yes. Yeah, so we have a craft show at our church on April 20th, and I sell some of my finished products. And then my mom and I are also going to have make and takes available, so people can try out the rub-on transfers and the stencils. Nine. Sometimes when they drill these um, beads, they don't get the hole all the way through. All right, let's find the end of our twine here. And I'm going to get a little piece of tape on it. Make it like a shoelace so it's easier to put the beads on. No, you don't have to apologize, Teresa. All right. Okay, so let's see what 15, how long 15 beads is on here. Wow, there's 159 people on? I gotta do my lives more often. What? Is it because I don't usually go live on these days or what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, storms, yucky. Yeah. Oh yeah, Sean. Um, Gary was asking me. He's like, there was a Sean Bass on our Easter service live. I'm like, oh, that's my downline. That's a creator on my team. So that was kind of cool. Thanks for watching. That was my, um, the other girl that was singing is uh, our oldest, Hannah. Both girls were supposed to sing, but Naomi was not feeling well. I think once Mary Poppins was done, her body kind of like said, I need to rest. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm wondering if this twine might be a little thin. Maybe not, it might be fine. Come on. All right. Um, 
I think 15 is not enough. I think we're going to need 20. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to tie the tag on. So I'm just going to tie a double knot right at the top of the tag. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my beads all the way down to the tag. What do you think? I think 20 is going to be good because then we're going to put a tassel on this end. We don't want it too huge. Or should I do 25? 25 would go about to here. What do you think? No, we do not charge admission for the show. Remember you have length added with the tag and the tassel. Right, so the tassel if the beads, if we do 20, it's this long. 20 is good. Okay. Yeah, I don't want it super long because they get heavy too. All right. So if you've never done this before, where I have this tag, so now I have this end of string and I don't want it to show. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my end back up through one. Two. Then that those first three beads. Okay. And then I'm gonna just snip that string only right there at the top of the bead and then push the rest down. And now I don't have an end of the string showing. It's hidden in here. Okay? Cool, right? Okay, now I'm going to leave about eight inches and I'm going to trim the other end, okay? Because we're gonna put a tassel on this end. Now, I'm not a professional tassel maker and I actually I think I wanna use, I wanna use the jute that came with the beads for the tassel. Let's try this out. This is a plain, plain jute twine. Now, we have a tassel maker. I'll show it to you. It's adjustable so you can make different lengths of tassels. And I could bring this and show them how to use it, like going around. But I think what I'm going to show them instead is how I've always made them, which is taking my fingers, you could make a small tassel, you can spread out your fingers and wrap. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, I think is enough. So basically you're making loops, okay? And so there's our 15 loops. Then I need another piece that I'm going to tie around the neck. But before I do that, I'm going to put our string from our garland through through our loops, okay? So I'm putting it there. I can leave a little bit of space, but now I'm gonna tie the neck of my tassel. And I know there's like a special way to do the string, like, so you hide it. I don't know how to do that. So I just tie a knot 
You can also wrap around the neck and there's a way to like pull the string through and then you can tie your two ends. I don't care if I see a little knot. It's not the end of the world for me. You can just trim them. All right, so here's what I have. I now have my tassel on the end of my string here of beads, but I still have all these loops. So what I need to do is I need to put my scissors in here and I need to cut all my loops. Okay, it's a little rustic looking farmhouse tassel. All right, I do need to put a little bit more tape on this other end of my string. How does, uh, oh, you should be able to swipe them or um, there's like a down arrow next to the words live chat. All right, so what I'm gonna do down here I'm gonna tie a knot between my tassel and my last bead. I'm gonna do a double knot. Okay, can you see I got a double knot there? Then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take the end of my string and I'm gonna go up through the first, back up through the first three beads. One, Two, three. I can do more because my string is kind of long. It doesn't really matter. And then snip it right, right at the bead so it's hidden. All right. Well, there's one of them done. What do you guys think? Cute, right? Like for a... Uh, for a tiered tray. You could even make like a little hanger thingy. Oh, you're still trying to go back. Oh, no worries. Okay. Sorry, I'm just looking back because it looked like I needed to remove remove a comment. All right, so here is example number one. And let's do this one real quick. I know now 20 beads. I almost, I don't know, I might show some of these as another option. I'm not going to have kits with these. Um but I'm going to show them that they can, if they wanted to make a bunch, they could order a pack of the tags, these white tags. This is for all of you that might be interested. The white tags are on my website in a pack of 12. And then you could buy two pages of the, either the Bonton Birds or the Forest Friends uh, rub-on transfers to make some tag garlands of your own. So I'll just show this as another example. All right, one, two, three, four, five.
that's an interesting uh, point, Holly. Are you talking about the the comments? Maybe um maybe Wednesday I'll go back to horizontal and see if that makes a difference. Because that would be good to know. All right, let's get these 20 on here. All right. Are my actual people still here in the chat? <laughs> Hello, Carmen. Amy, I don't know what that is. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. All right. So, tie our tag on. Okay, and then go back up through the first three beads. I do too, Holly, but I'm wondering now if it has an effect on who is jumping on the live chat. You know what I mean? All right, let's make our... Oh, hey, Mom. I'm making our samples for, our, for the craft show of the tags. All right, so we got our loops. Are you stringing the beads? No. Nope, I'm gonna give them the beads in the bag. They will string their own beads and they will make their own tassel. Oh, I know, Rita. So if I have kits left, I may put I may put some in the auction. Thank you, Amy. Oh. All right, Amy, you got something else you got to send me the link to. I still have not opened my sander. I'm hoping after I get tomorrow's YouTube video done, I'm going to open my saw and figure out where I'm going to get it set up. I think it's going to end up in the garage. I thought 
about just getting some of the um, the beads from Dollar Tree that are on the the wire wreath form, but they are quite a bit smaller than these. And these actually weren't that bad. All right, so we got this. I just have to, oops, looks like I missed a loop on my tying, but that's okay, we'll just trim that. All right, let's tie around the neck of our tassel. like this jute that came in the with the beads okay and if they're uneven you can always just trim your ends a little bit more even okay I don't know Patty Hopefully soon. All right, there's sample number two. So yeah, I'm thinking these are gonna be, we'll have to decide seven or eight dollars, probably eight. So we're giving them a lot of supplies. So those are the two beaded tags using our Bontem Birds rub-on transfers. And Forest Friends, rub on transfer, some 20 millimeter wooden beads from Amazon and some jute twine to make a little tassel. Those are going to be good. And so we figured out 20 beads is how many we need. All right. And then, like I was saying earlier, this is the other make and take that's going to be an option. Um, I don't know. We may say $6 depending on paint. I mean, if they wanted to paint this a different color, we could probably let them do that. And then, um, stencil, a mini stencil. What I like about these is they're glass and wood. Um, they can sit like this or they can sit like this, like an old fashioned candy jar. And then we'll give, we'll have some ribbon options to tie, maybe a ribbon and a bow that, where the bow's down here. So these are going to be the make and take options for the craft show at, that my mom and I are going to do at the church. So we've got the wooden beaded tags will be $8 and the stenciled candy jar will probably be five. The jars are $1.25 and the ribbon will probably be, you know, a couple I don't know, 10 cents or something. Oh, good, Holly. I'm so glad. Uh-oh, thunder and lightning in Ohio. Ah. Do you think that do you think five dollars is good for this? I mean, I have I have 16 of the jars. So I bought 16 of these. Um, I will make a sample. I just need to figure out exactly which minis I want to offer. Um, we have some mom minis. I have some mom minis from the past. I'm sure some new ones are going to be coming out. So they're going to, they can try the stencils, the mini stencils, and we'll have some ribbon and then they can take it home and fill it with candy or chocolate or, uh, I guess candy is chocolate. Chocolate is candy. Um, so a stenciling make and take, and then we're going to also have a rub on transfer make and take so they can do both. They can buy the kits and take extras of these home if they want. Uh-oh, what happened here? My string came down. There we go. I have a little bit too much extra string on this one, so i got to make sure to tie them a little bit tighter. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me and um, tolerating the trolls. Goodness. I hope I hope we're done with that now. And I hope you guys have a great night. Please give the video a thumbs up if you like when I come on and do 
live crafting. My new YouTube video will go live tomorrow night at 9. And um, I'm also going to be on Facebook tomorrow at 5.30 Eastern. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye.